Tony the Technician's channel and today we're moving into the 85 Camaro. What we're going to be doing today is hopefully installing the blower motor housing that I had hydro dipped, um, doing the evap system or charcoal canister delete and I also finished up painting the pulley system. The only thing I need now is the bolt that holds the AC delete pulley. Then that can all go back together. Don't have much left on the car. The shifter and the transmission are the only two things I really need to order not counting my intake. Other than that, once I get those in, everything's gonna go right together. But we're doing the final touch-ups, um, hopefully today. So with the blower motor box, I was originally gonna run heat, but no AC, but I'm not gonna run either. Um, it's gonna be a show car slash strip car and nightly weekend driver whenever it's nice out. So instead of using heat, I'm going to use my blower motor box as kind of a area for my excess wiring until I get the car done and tuned and I can figure out what wires I can actually get rid of. But until then, that's what it's going to house and that's what I'm going to do today. And then with the charcoal canister delete, we're still going to use this pressure valve off of it. We're going to block this line, put a filter on this side, and this side goes to the tank. Uh, so basically how that will operate is anytime the tank has more than 2 psi, it will vent the pressure to the atmosphere. But the filter on the end will keep the contaminants and stuff from getting out. Uh, if you do decide to do it this way, you can route it wherever you want with hose. Um, but I'm just going to keep mine right tucked inside the fender or right there where uh, the charcoal canister would normally sit. I know a lot of people don't like to get rid of their charcoal canister because they're environmental friendly and everything, but this being an older car and putting a 75 uh, small block Chevy in it, I'm okay with not running the charcoal canister. And plus, I'm trying to clean up my engine bay and I really don't want to have to worry about mounting that charcoal canister somewhere else. So if you do decide to do it this way, hopefully this helps. If not, uh, I'll let you go about doing it your own way. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to wait for the paint to dry on a few more parts, and then we'll start assembling everything. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you, guys. Okay, YouTubers. So what I have here is what I'm going to use for the charcoal canister delete. Um, I already have the hose that comes from the tank, and it goes to a hose on the car, or from a hard line to a hose. And this will plug into the hose coming from the tank and then this will plug into here and I have this port up here blocked off you can pick up a set of these little plugs vacuum caps from AutoZone or O'Reilly's for like two or three bucks and then the air filter I picked up off of eBay for a couple bucks as well it doesn't have to be anything fancy got the hose uh, clamped on here and now I'm gonna go get my other clamp clamp it on this side with the port that's blocked off and then this part will go to the car using this hose. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'll show you once I have it hooked up. So This is my charcoal canister delete all installed. It's pretty easy once you get the charcoal canister out. Here you can see the line coming from the tank to the single port on the valve and this top port is plugged so it releases pressure at 2 to 3 psi and then this hose goes to the filter. And you can either run a longer hose out through the side or down through the bottom of here to get it out of the engine bay. I'm fine with this right now. I'll probably mount it up here on this hole and then maybe extend that hose a little bit to where it's uh, right sitting in here. But real simple, easy to do if this is the way you want to do it. So you already saw me install the charcoal canister delete. I just got the blower motor housing mounted in. Uh, I have 3M tape on the back of it. I wrapped it all around there and kind of pressed it into place and then installed the bolts. Real simple. Uh, I really like this hydro dipping. I think it looks really nice. Sorry about the glare guys. I'm trying to get it at the right angle but it's not turning out so well. <laughs> so here it is. I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take this excess wiring and get it installed into the blower motor housing and uh, put the blower motor in. So that's it for today. I'm just going to show you quickly what I did and then uh, I'm probably going to put some of the pulley system back on the engine but not all of it until I get that bolt. But 
here you can see I got the main wiring harness ran. Uh, all the wires are tucked in new sleeving except for the coil wire as of right now. Uh, but the blower motor box is in, the blower motor is in, the wires are tucked. The charcoal canister delete or bypass is in. And everything is good to go. The only thing I have left to do with the wiring is to get bigger versions of these hold downs because these aren't big enough to actually hold the main wiring harness and I need them so I can kind of route this stuff exactly where I want it because I'm going to tuck it up underneath the firewall right here uh, nice and neatly but the ones I have aren't big enough so I'm going to pick up some bigger ones and then permanently mount the wiring harness and then uh, that should be it. Okay YouTubers, so that's it for today. Not really a much of a how-to, more of just an update of what I was doing today. So, did the charcoal canister delete slash bypass, did the blower motor install and uh, blower motor housing, tuck the wiring, very very little left to do with the wiring, and I did end up getting the pulley system put back on the engine. It won't be complete until I get that bolt to hold this AC delete pulley but I'll run to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up that and get that put on there so I can get the belt put back on and uh, then not much left to do at all. So expect some good videos coming here within the next month or two and I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys.